Right, um, I just want to do a demonstration really, just on my new pickups which I've installed. And these are the Mojo Tone Lee Dixon Blackie model. Now, what this model actually is, is kind of a replica of the pickups that were in Eric Clapton's original Blackie guitar, which was really the guitar he used throughout the 70s um, and most of the 80s and you know, a little bit of the 90s but you know, it was really the guitar I used for most of his career through the 70s right through the 80s and a lot of that time Lee Dixon was the guitar technician who was you know, looking after him at the time so he knew what was kind of what these pickups were and it's kind of a big mystery what they were a lot of people say, oh, it's a 57, it's a you know, 58, but you know, it's kind of known that it was a guitar that was, Blackie was originally a guitar that was put together, uh, various guitars, and what those pickups were aren't really known. What was noticed um, was when the guitar was auctioned and bought by a guitar centre, when there's a video on YouTube and you can see it's opened up and you can see the back of the guitar has got like these grey bottoms to it, which is a little bit unusual. So it kind of rules out certain pickups. So it's not really a 50s, 57 pickup, which is a 56 body. So it's you know it's a little bit newer the pickup. And the Mojo Tone Lee Dixon ones do actually have grey bottoms. And what I've noticed about them straight away is they're very, very balanced. They're all very, very similar across. And what I'm going to do is, first of all, I've got a Fender Champ 600. And it's just on a very clean, well, there's only one setting, it's only clean, really. So I'm just going to try and get a kind of general sound of the guitar on the neck pickup. I just play some cold so you can kind of get the kind of jangliness of it. This is the middle picker. Swing to up. And the bridge, which it doesn't really use a lot. And even there, it's very, very clean. It's a very, very clean sound. Cleaner than most pickups I've ever used. I'll just go there, there. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to push, overdrive it a bit. Um, see, I think at that time he was using a kind of a tube screamer to get his overdrive. And I actually use the hardwired 
tube overdrive, which I think is probably the, I think it's actually better than the tube screen, to be honest. Um, it's a true bypass pedal, and I've got it on classic mode, and it's kind of a driven sound that Clapton is kind of known for anyway. And at that time, I think this is the way he was doing it, not through mid boosts and things like that. that's it really. Um, for me it's a pickup that's very very clean, very balanced. To me it sounds sort of very microphone-y if anything, that's the best way I can describe it. It's a hand-wide pickup um, and not only that, I feel when it's driven I feel it's a little bit different from any other pickup I've ever used. You know it's it's got a little bit of bite to it but you can still kind of hear the pickup it's still kind of there it's probably a bit difficult to get over on youtube on yeah but that's how it feels to me all right thank you